Hey there superstars, it is Vanessa here again, your speaker, trainer and coach from Live Love Give and today I'm coming to you with a bit of a, um, a, bit of a message that's come from um, just some conversations that I've been having in my life recently that I just was like, this would make a really good Facebook Live. So I'm absolutely hoping that it does. And what I wanna talk into with you guys today is like always, I kind of have a bit of a story that I wanna share with you guys um, with some people in my life and, um, and then dive into this kind of lesson um, based on that story that I hope that will be relatable to you in your life. So today's message is absolutely all about um, the fact that the ego comes from the need for external validation when we're not getting what we need from within. And I'm gonna, as always, unpack it, explain what the hell I mean, and, uh, and definitely dive into a little bit of story for you. So where this kind of um, idea came from was um, uh, somebody in my life right now, I was um, having this, I was noticing this pattern kind of be at play. And it was like, I don't know, it was this kind of like annoying sort of energy. And like, and I would find myself get a little bit annoyed over um, a couple of different things. And I was like, in my mind, I'm always trying to not be reactive and notice what things trigger me and why that is and not make it somebody else's problem, right? And try and take that on board and see, you know, what's, you know, what's going on for me? Like, what is going, what do I need to learn here? How can I grow here? What's this dynamic at play? And, um, you know, what's going on so that I can not let it get in the way of my connection with the person. Anyway, as I was kind of like picking up on this pattern over the last um, couple of weeks, um, I started to put two and two together and I was starting to see what was going on in the context of this person's life at these particular times when in, from my perception, they were kind of getting a bit arrogant. Like they were kind of being a bit full of themselves and any, any of us Aussies kind of know tall poppy syndrome. Like um, here in Australia, that's, you know, a phenomenon where, you know, we don't like people getting too, you know, that tall poppy like growing too much above, above the rest of the bunch. We want to chop it down, right? And it's not really a, a great, it's got its good and bad kind of elements of that phenomenon. You know, sometimes we do need to be humbled and other times we want to celebrate people being successful, but there's a different energy and see if you can kind of pick up on this as well. You know, when when somebody is like legitimately proud of um, something within themselves and they're authentically and genuinely sharing that um, from a self-loving place, but like it's it's not an egotistical, arrogant kind of place. It's a, hey, yeah, like I've owned this within myself. I've integrated within this, this within myself. I'm proud of it and I wanna share it with people that I care about and I've got the courage and the confidence to do so. That's a different energy to when people are like, totally arrogant right and you're just totally turned off to them in the moment they're like oh my god could this person be any more full of themselves right and you're just like oh it's this like it's this annoying energy that you can kind of sense and pick up on and anyway i was finding like generally this person is a very humble gracious amazing human being but there was just these couple of different instances where i found like they're actually a little bit like annoying. And then firstly, you wanna check, what's this saying about me? Like what is triggering me about this person? Cause it says a lot more about you than them oftentimes, right? But then if you look beyond that and you do the work and you're like, okay, well, this is, you know, a part that I'm, I need to own or whatever. Like I'm not, that's what, that's not what today's message is actually about. But looking at that dynamic and looking at what's at play for this person. And luckily this person is somebody who I can have this kind of open conversation about, uh, sorry, with, and um, you know, and, and about like I'm doing right now. Um, but you know, with them, I'm able to like talk it out and go, you know, like I, I kind of like see this kind of pattern come up and I'm not sure if it's because of this, this or this, but you know, this is how like it kind of triggers me and I'm wondering what's going on and getting kind of curious about it. But as I was um, analyzing these couple of different situations, I was able to see that at the times when this person got egocentric and they were totally arrogant, it was like they shut off their um, ability to um, pick up on the needs and the emotional um, needs of other people around them. And in those times, they were just like, I'm the center of the universe, right? And I was able to see that at those particular times, they were 
um, you know, going through situations where they were surrounded by people who were putting them up on this major pedestal. You know, we've all got those people in our lives, whether they're, um, you know, a family members of some sort who just like love and adore us and, you know, we can do no wrong in their eyes and they're puffing us up. Um, you know, whatever it is, I was seeing that and I was seeing that there was kind of a link to that. But at the end of the day, what I was really seeing was that the, these people were, um, this person was talking out, um, you know, after the fact, like just how good they were and just all these amazing things that other people were saying about them in this egocentric way, not in a self-loving way. And what was actually happening was this person was not giving themselves and validating themselves, um, weren't giving themselves what they needed from within and not validating themselves from within. So when somebody in the external world gave them this puff up, um, it, there was a disconnect between what they truly believed about themselves and what this other person was reflecting to them. And so because of that disconnect, um, there was this like, that's what we find annoying. There's a lack of congruence between how this person really feels about themselves and what they're saying about themselves, right? There's this disconnect um, that that's what turns us off versus the person who is integrated fully that those great qualities about themselves and therefore they're able to genuinely feel gratitude when they express, you know, the words that other people have, um, you know, kindly said about them you know it's this different energy where there's a there's a total alignment there's a total congruence so it's not coming from this egocentrical place and what i noticed was that this person was getting to a point where they were relying on external validation because they weren't taking that time out to validate themselves, get into alignment with themselves, do those things that they needed um, personally to feel good within themselves. Um, and instead, they were chewing up all this time and energy trying to get that validation from the external world. And then they were puffing themselves up and then they were projecting it out like, oh, see, these people say this, 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 and this about me, and I'm so good. And then just feel falling back into this heap until they get that next load of validation. So that's really a long way of, long-winded way of me talking into the fact that, you know, there's a difference between, you know, um, us being in that, loving centered higher plane of ourselves um, versus our ego right and um and that that the ego steps in when we're trying to chase that external validation because we're not generating exactly what we need that validation within um and so therefore we're like chasing it in the external we're trying to puff ourselves up in the external and that's why those people can feel like annoying or like arrogant or like full of themselves or whatever your term is for that um so it's not about you know, never owning those great things within you. You absolutely need to own them. But it's knowing the difference between when you're in alignment, you know, that inner world is in alignment with the external feedback that you're getting and you can able, you're able to express that in a, a way that, you know, people can relate to and connect to from a place of authenticity versus when you're just being arrogant, puffing yourself up based on what other people might have said about you, but it's like it's this annoying energy, it's this ego energy because you haven't got alignment, you haven't integrated those things, you don't truly believe those things about yourself. So, you know, instead of falling into that trap, you know, hopefully you've got some amazing people in your life who love becoming the expert on you so they can reflect these different patterns of yours that you know too often we can't see within ourselves they can reflect that to you and kind of lovingly you know draw attention to it for you so that you can you know they might be wrong but at least it's getting you to think at least it's getting you to analyze yourself and notice okay, like, am I reliant on this external feedback and validation and it's not feeling congruent and therefore I'm getting kind of arrogant because I'm trying to, like, you know, balance myself out and, or, um, you know, am I, like, really taking this on board and receiving it fully with gratitude and then, you know, it's felt so good to me and it was such a kind thing for those people to do that I'm able to openly share that with people that I know, like, and trust um, in a way that's not arrogant and egoic, egoic. it's it's genuine and um, grateful, you know, so there's a difference there. But just get your thinking about next time, you know, when you're feeling like maybe you're like, oh, 
I don't know where that came from. Maybe I was getting a bit arrogant there. And, um, you know, maybe get you to think about, you know, what are you doing to validate yourself? What time are you spending on yourself? You know, we're all wired a little bit differently. So this particular person in my life is somebody who leads with um, a mental process or a cognitive function, which is Ex, uh, sorry, introverted feeling or authenticity. And for introverted feeling people to really integrate how they are within, you know, they actually really need to take that time to themselves, maybe in nature, somewhere that's meaningful to them, and actually take that time to go inside, check in with themselves, check in with that alignment, check if they're living in their principles, their values, their morals, like that's super important to that particular type. So I'm really grateful that I kind of like push them into some action with that because they've been super busy, um, you know, externalizing everything in their life, you know, jumping from this to that and helping these people and doing this thing and learning this thing. And it's just taking its toll a little bit. So for them in particular, you know, they've taken a day out today to go and just take some time for them, you know, reintegrate and get to back to that centered place rather than that egoic place. And um, we've all got our different versions of that, but that might resonate with you. And uh, I definitely want to check in with you guys, but before I do, I want to make sure that you guys are all a part of the Limitless Potential Academy monthly masterclasses. We have our next masterclass coming up this Sunday, the 26th of January. I am super pumped and excited to share that with you. It's all about unpacking the neuroscience of the personality so that you can discover your genius and start to understand yourself and others on a much higher plane, everything that we're talking about, so that you can ultimately have such meaningful, deep conversations with the people in your life to be able to help each other grow to your next level of your potential, you know, and have the language to put behind why we do what we do. It's super valuable and important um, for you if you want to grow and you want to contribute at your highest level. So I definitely invite all you superstars who aren't currently part of the masterclasses to definitely come on over and join. And you want to do it now because we've got our next masterclass in a couple of days time. So on Sunday, I can't wait to share that with you and all you guys who are already past um, part of the masterclasses. I cannot wait to reconnect. So let me check in with you guys um, and see who's been able to join. Let me know if you've got any questions or comments or words of wisdom or feedback, any of it. I absolutely love connecting with you guys. So I've got Judy and uh, Vanayak. Good to see you. And Tony, thank you for your kind compliment. And Vanessa, yay, love this perfect timing. Thanks. Awesome. I love hearing that. And uh, Kadex here and Tim and uh, Nikki and Huss is in the house. And Wayan and uh, Prashant, namaste to you. And uh, Craig's here as well. And Savoy. Bula and Jerry and Jay's in the house and Barbara hi hello to you um, good to have you and uh, thank you so much for your kind compliments really appreciate that and Jatendra hi Vanessa happy to see your consistency oh thank you Jatendra and thank you for your kind compliment there um, lovely to see you guys and um, yeah I always love showing up for you guys and hope that today's message has definitely been of value and just get you thinking about how much of your ego you're kind of falling into because remember like the ego is there for a reason it's it's here to wake us up to when we're not giving ourselves what we need from within and instead we've fallen into this pattern of relying on this external validation in whatever form that is whether it is people giving you compliments whether it is um, you know generating an income of some sort um, and you like you know it's all these different things that you're getting from the external world which is not a bad thing. Like we want to be able to enjoy those things in our external world, but it's from where we're enjoying it from. You know, the ego is trying to get something to fill this void that only it can truly fill from within. So it's like, it's never good enough. It's always trying to fill this void and it's coming out and it's like got to get something else. And then it's like going out, you know, and it's, it's this, kind of arrogance as well and it's just not a good place to live because you're actually coming from this fear driven place there's a lack of integration in your internal world and what you believe about yourself and what you're trying to prove in the external world so go about the pat the the strategy of getting clear on what 
who are you really? Like, what is meaningful to you? Like, what is your higher self? Who is that person? You know, what set of values um, do they live by? You know, um, you know, and being able to own and validate yourself from within without any external validation necessary, so that when that external validation does come your way, it's in, it's congruent to who you really are, and you're able to graciously receive it and be grateful for it, and you're not in your ego. All right, so enough about all of that. I hope it's been of value. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for joining me live. I um, really do appreciate you spending your time with me. And as always, I'm sending you guys all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I really do hope that it's beautiful, amazing, and extraordinary that you're doing something super empowering today and that today's message has served you. And as always, I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. Much love.